Greetings, this is PowerPoint presentation brought to you by iTech 11 G059, class of 2022, Isaac David Arnold And today we're going to discuss about basketball fundamental basics. So what is basketball? Basketball is a sport involving five player team system against another team for the goal of having the most points by the end of the game. In a basketball, there are four quarters, and each quarter is equivalent to 12 minutes. So all in all, it is 48 minutes. After this 48 minutes game, the team with the most number of points is the winner. So the six fundamental basics in basketball are dribbling, passing, shooting, defending, rebounding, and pivoting. First is dribble. Now dribble allows player to be mobile around the court while the ball is in his or her hand. It involves bouncing the ball without losing position. So in this scenario, uh, a player must develop his or her ball handling skills. So in the next slide, this is an example of a player with a ball dominant hand going going through the defender with his dribbling moves. Next is pass. Pass occurs when you transfer the ball to your teammate. It can be a throw leg or a bounce as long as the ball is being touched by every member. So an example of this this is in this picture. This is a tip off. A player passing the ball to his teammate. Next fundamental is shoot. Shoot is a weapon of a player to score the basket for points. Example are jump shots and layups. It is an essential skill for contributing on the offensive side. So here is an example. Player A is shooting the ball over a defending player. Defense. Defense is an essential skill to guard your key, key guy, not letting him or her score. This is for limiting the scoring of the opposing team. And since you have limited the scoring of the offensive on the opposing team, you have gained advantage over them. So in this picture, we can see that the, defense, the defensive team is not letting this offensive player go through the, the defensives through their pace. Next is rebound. Rebound is snatching or getting and securing the ball right after it was shot by either your teammate or opponent. If you get a missed shot, after a shot taken by your, by your teammate, it is called an offensive player. Otherwise, it is called a defensive rebound. It is important for controlling ball possession. Whoever is rebounding the ball right after a missed shot will control who is having the possession of the ball in the game. There is Example of rebounding. So lastly is pivot. Pivot is the ability of a player to move, move more while the people while the pivot foot is intact. After the ball is gathered, you can no longer dribble because it will be called as traveling or dribble, double dribble. So note here is using pivot foot to gain balance. Why are these basic fundamental of basketball important? Because in a game, there is high competition. So if you, you, are, you are a master of these basic fundamentals, you can contribute well to the team in the game and not be a liability for the team's success. So that is all and thank you for listening.